वर्किंग एंड डिजाइन ऑफ क्रॉस फ्लो टर्बाइन वाटर एंटर इन टू द टर्बाइन बाया इनटेक अडाप्टर थ्रू पेन स्टॉक पाइप This is the inside arrangement of runner both fixed and adjustable guide bands and top curve plate At the moment guide band is in fully open position water enters into the runner from these two ways Now closing guide band to show how water is stopped from being entered into the runner. Both of these points seals the casing. When water strike the blade of runner it rotates in this way. Main pulley of turbine also rotates along with the runner. which further rotates the pulley of counter shaft assembly with the help of belts this pulley on the counter shaft assembly is connected with the generator coupling by means of this shaft generator is coupled with the coupling on this side by universal cross shaft the same cross shaft which is used in transport vehicles to see how water makes cross flow when it enters in the runner watch this simulation and a video clip
After heating and rotating the runner water exits through this hole. This hole on the back side of turbine casing is used for cleaning of trash. This is sealed with the metal plate during the working of turbine. Now it's time to start measurements of cross flow turbine. There are few things to know about runner to understand measurements more conveniently. The distance between these two discs is called runner width. This diameter is known as diameter of the runner. Both of these discs are known as side discs of runner and these discs are called intermediate or supporting discs. The quantity of these discs is directly proportional to the length of runner and water discharge. Measuring width of runner Runner width can be obtained by this formula where width is represented by W. Qt is the discharge of water and its value must be put in meter cube per second. Dt is the diameter of runner. Ht is water head. The value of all units must be in system international. During these calculations, the diameter of runner is kept constant. Measuring speed of the turbine Turbine speed and runway speed can be evaluated by these formulas. The maximum speed of turbine at full flow without any load is called runway speed. These turbines are suitable for medium head and medium discharge of water. The efficiency of cross flow turbines is considered to be 65 to 75%. Watch this video clip of two cross flow turbines producing 300 kilowatts. 